Hello everyone, this is Afsar Ali. So this is the continuation of my last video tutorial, read Gmail inbox using Gmail API Java part two. So in this video, what we are gonna do, uh, we'll search uh, a particular email uh, using its subject or uh, maybe using its uh, 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 you know, sender, etc. So we can do th that. Right, so let's see how we can do. So if I go to Eclipse and I already have a Gmail services here, you can see I do have credential registration already. Uh, make sure that you have this client ID, project ID, everything is uh, set. And uh, then uh, you have a refresh token and access token as well in the set access token uh, we, we use a get access token here and this is the get access token uh, it will be here right here I have hard coded client ID client secret or you can just uh, you know uh, put a uh, some properties file and you can read uh, this file from properties file instead of hard coding those value all right for uh, this video purpose i'm just hard coded it and if you go here so here what i'm doing is i'm just creating a gmail services new gmail.builder and just set application name and application name i'm uh, getting from uh, here this credential uh, file right so okay from here application name sorry so here so what i have done i'm just calling first one is a get gmail service so this particular get gmail service will give me a whole gmail services where i can do a lot of things suppose i want to read a value of particular email value of particular emails body i want to read all this thing all right so what i can do here if i go my uh, get uh, mail body uh, here um if i expand that you can see search string i'm uh, passing as an argument right so here if you see users then messages so it will list all the messages list and the users which all the users has and the query so query i am doing is a searching actually so this is similar to if i do something like suppose i want to search this uh, finish setting up so if i do finish um, setting up so something like this if i search from here and it will give me one value the same thing is set queue is doing all right so i can search by its uh, sender or by its uh, subject name etc right so yeah so suppose i want to search same thing finish setting up here all right so if i do finish setting up uh, your new google account so this is the subject name and what it is doing it will just uh, get the response and it will get the first of the message suppose uh, a multiple elements or uh, multiple instances of the email having the same uh, you can say same subject line then in that case i'm getting only one so if you want to get all of them then uh, you you have to you know uh, loop through all those and uh, you can just uh, save into the array list or some some collection something but uh, i am hard coded here to get only the first value okay so the benefit would be like if you have something like otp thing like if if you have uh, you know a requirement where you want to read otps so it would be uh, you know beneficial like you can just give the uh, you, you can say it give its a uh, subject name and it will get the latest uh, email or latest uh, OTP so let me run this how it works if I run this okay so you can see I do have a email body as Google uh, let me just go to this okay so this this is the google and it's uh, because it's a link kind of 
All right, so it will give you the, it's a href link, then hi YouTube, welcome to Google. Your new account comes with access, something, something. So it is already there. Welcome to your new account comes with access to Google products. So yeah, so everything is fine. And here also you can see try it button. So normally in case of OTP, uh, you know, or you want to authorize something uh, based on your OTP sent to uh, into your Gmail and, and something like button here, it should be there. So it should be saying something like authorize that application, right? So if you just inspect that, this button has some link within that. And those link, you can see href. All right, so this href, uh, also you can get it uh, in here. Uh, you can see this tried buttons href is this. And you can read those value. Okay, so once you read those value and you can uh, do curl or uh, something, uh, uh, some uh, request you can do to authorize that particular application, right? So that means you can search anything here of whatever you see in your uh, Gmail inbox, right? I, I can search using it to Google or something like that, all right? So if I search with a Google, let's see what, what I get. I should be getting the first one. Uh, it says uh, quick start was granted access to your Google account. I think this is the one and this is the one. I think, yeah, I, I'm getting this because I'm getting it from Google. All right, so that will search me this particular thing. All right, so this is how you can search uh, anything and if you want to have multiple uh, mul multiple emails not the single one suppose with uh, this Google you have multiple uh, things okay you can see here here is a Google here is a Google here also Google right so if you want to have multiple a list of all the uh, email all right so you need to use here this this is the particular one if you go to this get email body and instead of get zero uh, you you need to get list of that okay so then uh, you need to do for loop and uh, you know save in some uh, array list of string or something like that of each of them right so this is how you can read it so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video uh, probably i will uh, create um, uh, and compose the email and send it uh, uh, from my account to uh, a particular email or maybe to anyone, right? I can send from this particular my my uh, inbox, you can say. All right, so let's see, uh, we'll do it in the next video and, uh, and this code I'll be uh, publishing in the GitHub and I'll provide the GitHub link as well in the uh, video descriptions. Okay, so bye for now. See you in the next video.